spider hunter here, journeying out of my homeland of Holland area, West Michigan, heading up north to the UP of Michigan. So to get across the Upper Peninsula, you have to take the uh, Mackinac Bridge, or Mackinac Bridge as some might say it, about five mile length, an engineering feat and wonder. Anyway, it goes across the straits here at Mackinac. Once you get up to B, I'm gonna head over and do some sightseeing, plus some spider hunting. We'll have to see what we're gonna see. I have no idea what I'm gonna find. I have no particular spiders I'm interested in. I have in. taken a trip or an excursion on a new adventure today, Peninsula, and I'm at a place called Kitchikippi Park. And uh, it is one of the most unique things here in Michigan because it's a clear-fed spring that I think every hour, 10,000 gallons of water come up, bubble up through the, uh, the limestone bottom. So it's crystal clear water. I'll give you a look at that as we take the little boat ride out. But um, thanks for watching. And today we're gonna do a little, gonna find some spiders. I'll be in a spider hunt. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna be looking for or finding. I hope to look for a wolf spider to see what, if that happens to occur. But uh, this is the, uh, the entrance to the park and why people come here to see this wonderful crystal clear water. Looking across, it's kind of a misty morning. A little bit of fog still on the water. And this is the area where the water goes down several feet deep. Maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 feet. At least, uh, at least 25, 30, 40 feet, it's hard to tell. And this is the uh, boat that they use to take you across, take yourself across these uh, spring area. And you look through the bottom of the boat, it's not glass bottom. But you can see how clear all the way down to the bottom You'll see that water gushing up through the, the limestone as it churns. The so while here, I'll be looking for spiders, of course. And uh, I think I've already spotted one right here in the water edge. And we'll see what else we see today. beauty and the serenity in here is just awesome. I gotta watch where I'm walking because I'm walking backwards and there's a lot of root systems. But I really love it here. In spite of the mosquitoes, it's really a cool place to be. spider webs here at the base of this tree that opens up into a little cave inside. I can see spider webs that go down into this area like that one there with the dewdrops in it. These logs look like they're on the surface of this uh, spring-fed pond, but actually they're below the surface, some maybe 10, 12, 13 feet down. That's how clear this water is. We're on the boat now, and this is the view looking down into the clear water.
According to one of the local rangers here, right up on this tree where you see like a great big woodpecker hole, that is where she saw a female wolf spider. So I'm going to take a peek. Too high for me to really see inside the hole, but I do see some webbing, so quite possibly this is the home of that wolf spider. Let's we'll see if we can get a little better look maybe. I can see the webbing up here, but I don't think that's a wolf spider webbing. And I can't get high enough to see down into the hole. So, <laughs> as much as I would uh, like to climb up the tree and take a peek, the mosquitoes are horrendous, so I'm gonna call it quits on trying to find this female wolf spider. Ha! Lousy mosquitoes! Well, here's a nice little guy, even though I didn't see my wolf spider. It's always fun to look at smaller spiders as well. This guy just happens to be making his way up a handrail here at the state park. Nice long legs. Nice coloration. <laughs> and away he runs. <laughs> <laughs> 